Midtown 12 South. Hey, Elliot, coming to you again from my office. And um, just want to uh, acknowledge the fact that um, sometimes these videos can be uh, hard to do for me. Um, that not only do I long to be with you all, not only do I miss our people, but um, it's hard to, to disseminate information uh, this way. It's hard to try to have a personal connection this way. It's, it's hard to feel um, engaging this way. And so if you have made it through the last couple of videos, thank you. And uh, I'm going to try to keep this one uh, short and sweet as well and give you a couple highlights, a couple things to celebrate, a couple announcements as we gear up for the fall and all the things that are coming but you may only watch 30 seconds of this, and that's okay. Uh, I don't, I don't judge you for that, and I, I don't take it personally. <laughs> but uh, a couple of things you've heard them on the last couple of videos, uh, if you've seen them, if this is your first uh, weekly video you're tuning into, a um, couple of things coming this fall that are that are big news for us and and joyful news for us. One is starting September 6th, Midtown is going back to live services. We're going to do three services at our 12 South location. We're going to do three services at our Grain White location. Those, those services will max out at 50 people. Those services will be socially distanced and masks will be required. Um, you can register for those services online. Uh, however, at this point, uh, five out of the six services are full uh, at our 12 South and Grain White locations. So uh, there's a little bit of room left at um, one of our Grain White location services on, on Sunday, September 6th. Um, but what you need to know is, is that going forward, uh, registering for those services will happen on the Tuesday before each Sunday service. So September 8th, you can register for the September 13th uh, service. Uh, if those services continue to fill up uh, the way that they have been, we will certainly um, consider and, and probably will add uh, more services to accommodate for our people. Um, the other thing I wanted to celebrate uh, with you is that uh, if, you, if you don't feel comfortable coming to a live service, that's great. Uh, but Midtown is doing something and encouraging our people to do something called Midtown Home Church, where you gather with yourself, you uh, host a, a, a room full or a backyard full or a back patio full of your friends and family. It can literally just be your family, your, your spouse and your children gathered in a living room to do Midtown Home Church, um, to be together with other people, to sing God's praises, to hear God's word, to, to be in the fellowship of, of uh, believers is good for our souls. And so we're encouraging our people, hey, if you don't feel comfortable coming to a live service or they're full, please, 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 please consider doing Midtown Home Church. I've heard some um, uh, uh, conversations that people are planning on doing them. We've had about uh, 10 or 15 people raise their hand at 12 South saying they're willing to do that at 12 South. Um, if you're considering doing it and hosting a Midtown Home Church, would you please register for that online? That would help us know uh, how many of our people are doing this. But also, uh, we'll bring you a, kind of a, a swag bag. We'll bring you some things to help you host your home church, some coffee and some cups and some other things. And Kid Town, if you've got children in your home, we'll bring you some Kid Town supplies uh, for stuff for the children to do of all ages in your home. So uh, Midtown Live Services, Midtown Home Church, those are two ways, tangible ways for us to still gather as the church and be the church um, in a weekly rhythm uh, and with weekly regularity. It's good for our souls to do that. The other thing that I want to tell you about is small groups. Midtown Small Groups has been a, a vital part of our lifeblood here at Midtown uh, for many years. And we historically have been at capacity with small groups, and that's a good problem to have. Uh, we've had somewhere in the range of 35 to 40 small groups over the last several years, just at 12 South, and they have been busting at the seams and um, doing the very best we can to try to care for people and gather people in living rooms to discuss God's word. Small groups are about to relaunch uh, this fall. And I want to celebrate something with you because this is a big deal. This is this is kind of unheard of in, in church world. Um, as you know, Midtown is planting our, our fifth congregation primarily out of our 12 South location. Midtown congregation number five with Matt Avery is launching in just a couple weeks. Yes, they're launching virtually. Yes, they're launching during a pandemic. 
But what's what's amazing about that is they have well over a hundred people that have raised their hand to say they want to go with Matt and with that group uh, to to start a new church plant on our west side of town. That's amazing that Matt is getting uh, over a hundred of our twelve Southers to go with him who have raised their hand and said I want to go. That that is that is unheard of. That that is that is a work of Jesus to be able to send people on mission with Matt. But I also want to celebrate something else is that as many people as we've had go, many of those people have been our small group leaders or apprentices or people involved in small groups. And so we were facing what we thought was going to be a small group deficit, small group deficit here at 12 South. We're losing so many of our small group people. We thought we would have uh, a lot to, uh, we'd, we'd be lacking a lot heading into the fall as far as our small groups were concerned. But this is the other thing I want to celebrate is that even though we're losing uh, over 100 people and many small group leaders, um, we, we have uh, seen God work here, and people are wanting to go on mission here at 12 South. The yes, people have gone, but other people have stand, stood up and raised their hand and said, I want to serve and go on mission at 12 South. And so with all the small group loss that we're having at Congregation 5, which is a great thing for them, we are going to enter the fall with 35 groups launching, um, which is is... It's a miracle. I really can't describe to you how proud I am of you all. Um, over 30 of you guys have uh, gone through small group leader training this summer alone and said, I want to help at 12 South. I want to I want to um, raise up uh, and, and help lead here at 12 South. And so I just I, I can't I can't articulate well enough, especially on video. You couldn't you couldn't possibly capture how proud I am. Matt and I both and the elders here are of the fact that we have so many people going on mission with Matt. We have so many people going on mission here at 12 South. And I got to give credit where credit is due. Lisa Harrison and Emily Seibert, our, our two small group staff here at 12 South, have done a phenomenal job raising up new leaders, caring for our existing leaders, and sending people on mission and calling people on mission here. And so well done to those two ladies. Uh, they did an amazing job, and, and, and it is something to be celebrated publicly. Um, if we were in a room together, I would tell you all to give them a round of applause. You can do it in your home right now if you feel like it. Uh, okay, that's it. We're done with this video. There will be another one next week uh, and for many weeks to come where I can do little weekly check-ins. But um, I love you. Again, I say this at the end of all the videos. I miss you and I long for the day when we will be together, all of us, uh, crammed in that little room down there worshiping 